Are you the type of gardener that likes a challenge and loves tropical fruit but didn't think you could grow it in California's Zone 9B? I grow all sorts of different kinds of tropical fruit unprotected in my Modesto, California garden. And it's pretty easy. We're going to take a look today at growing long lines. I grow long lines and have been growing long lines here in the San Joaquin Valley in my backyard for many years. And to be honest with you, long lines are pretty darn easy to grow once you know the tricks of the trade, so to speak. Hi, my name is Jeff. Welcome to the Tropical Garden Guy channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, my Kahala long on tree. It's loaded with fruit and I'm going to do a quick harvesting and taste test. But first, if you like this channel, click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. Help this channel grow by clicking that like and subscribe button. So let's walk back here and we're going to take a look at uh, the ripening fruit on my Kahala long on tree that I had growing here. It's kind of in the side yard of my uh, Modesto, California backyard. Um, it's almost November and it's a little late. We got my lychee tree here. It's doing beautiful. Um, so we're back here and we take a look at these guys. Now you guys may have seen other videos of mine, but look at this. Massive amounts of Kahala long lines and they're a little late ripening. Um, Usually long lines are, let me take a look at my tree. Look at how, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I've got quite a bit of long lines and they grow in clusters of about three to four pounds a piece. And this is not the ideal location. And I've since uh, taken some cuttings and grown a tree out in the, more out in the backyard as opposed to the side yard of my backyard. Um, but this is a call long on tree that I was given about 10 years ago. Take a look at the trunk on this guy. Look at that. Never has any frost damage. Why? Because I plant it close to this house. But you take a look at these call long lines and they are just so, they are so delicious and they're expensive fruit. And most people just, I'm surprised that they do not grow them commercially in California because here I am about, uh, oh shoot, I'm about uh, 50 miles south of Sacramento and uh, about, shoot, we're about 300 miles, 350 miles north of Los Angeles. And look at this, beautiful long lines. Now, long lines are, as I mentioned, they're not as hard to grow. I've I mentioned this before. They're not as hard to grow as lychees. Lychees are much more particular about, like this is my Mauritius lychee, they're much more particular about uh, the watering and the fertilizer. Now, uh, long lines are better uh, because they, they're not so picky. They, they don't mind a little bit of fertilizer, uh, nitrogen, but uh, lychees just really don't seem to like a lot of nitrogen fertilizer. I don't know. It may have to do with our soil pH here, our irrigation practices, our waters and stuff. But um, yeah, long lines are a lot easier. Let's look at this. Look how tall this tree is. It is going on 20 feet tall. It's huge. I'm going to actually have to top this thing. It's getting so big. And see, we have some clusters here we got a few here oh there's a little a little bug or something on that one but let's take a look and we'll harvest one of these guys and one fruit and we'll give it a quick taste test and see how these ones are these ones are in the shade they're not quite as ripe as the ones up at top but let me take a quick look here so there's the fruit it's maybe a little bit green yet the ones up higher are a little more. So what I do, here we go. Let me see if I can do this this way, one-handed. What I do is I bite the skin off and take a look. I don't know if you guys can see that, but what the flesh inside is quite soft. It's a texture of about a, like a grape. And I use my teeth to bite the skin. The skin is slightly leathery. Oh, that's, I can taste the juice and it's already very sweet. So I'm saying this, this is pretty ripe. Mm. 
Mm, that was so good. Very sweet. Almost like Sprite. You know, the soft drink Sprite. And has a small seed in the middle. I didn't peel off all this, this skin, as you can see. Take the seed out. Throw it on the ground. And that's all we do. Delicious. The flavor is sweet, not acidy. Um, somewhat, um, somewhat um, like a, 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 a kind of a cross between a grape and let's just say 7-Up or Sprite with a very slight vegetative flavor. Very sweet. But as you can see, we got a lot more to go. I'm going to leave these guys on there for a little while longer. They'll probably last another couple days, maybe a week or so. Um, as I mentioned, these guys up here are higher up in the tree and get a little bit more sun. And as you can see, they're a little bit more brown and a little bit more ripe. Normally these guys, I, I may have mentioned that these guys are normally ripen in uh, September. Uh, they're a little late. I think we had a cooler summer. They do grow in the Bay Area. Los Angeles they grow. San Francisco Bay Area they grow. They do get damaged by temperatures below about... I want to say 27, 26, but just barely. When the tree is this big, there's such a canopy that the damage is very light. You want to plant the tree. You want to use an air-layered tree. You do not want necessarily want to use a seed unless you want to wait. A seedling takes a long time, and you're never going to be sure uh, when it's going to be, how long it's going to be before it produces fruit. Um, same way with lychees, like such as this one. This was an air layer. You want to start off with a good, healthy air-layered tree. It seems like once you start off with a tree that's not the most healthiest, they kind of go downhill. You want to start off with a very good, healthy one with good leaves on them, such as this. Plant them in well-drained soil and do not put a lot of fertilizer. They don't like a lot of nitrogen fertilizer. I know I've had some friends say, Jeff, don't say that. Don't say you put no nitrogen fertilizer on your... Uh, lychees and long on trees but to be honest with you every time that i put nitrogen on my lychee and long on tree the tree didn't produce a lot of fruit my name is jeff if you like this channel click the like and subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell comments and questions leave them in the comment section below because you know i do my best to get back to everybody's comments and their questions have a wonderful day